everyone, it's Nicole, and today I'm going to show you how to block some brows. Now, it's a little bit different to normal. We're going to be doing this with a bit of a fashion twist. When we are wanting to get these brows super flat, we want to make sure that the skin has no oily residue. So I love to clean over the area with some isocol, alcohol, and just make sure we've got a super clean surface. I absolutely love using a glue stick. It's water soluble, it's easy to remove, all the good things that our model wants to hear. It is not gonna be hard to remove and she's gonna have <laughs> eyebrows at the end. I really love using the purple one as well because once it's dry, it's clear, so you know exactly when you can layer the products over the top. When you're doing the glue stick, you wanna make sure that you get it underneath the hairs. If the glue stick's just sitting on top, the hairs won't sit flat to the skin. So when you are pressing the glue stick on, be quite aggressive with how hard you're pressing. It's only gonna work more and you really want it to be nice and soft and we want to get a good layer on there. Major backstage hero right here, Fix Plus. We use it for so many different things. And what I'm going to use it for now is to help blend away the edges of this brow block and make sure it's really smooth. Think about this like when you're getting your nails done. They do it in three sheer layers and it lasts a lot longer. Each layer is gonna help the next one stick. So what it means is you're gonna get the brown hairs staying flatter for longer. Back and forward under those hairs. Fix Plus, super handy to get rid of any lumps and bumps. So I love using the mineralized natural powder because this is what I use in fashion for skin. I really love how it looks just like skin. So it's gonna give you great coverage, but be really smooth and very, very fine. We really want to pack this powder on quite densely. It's going to show us if we need to add more glue to get those hairs super flat. As sexy as this looks, we're going to get rid of them all together so that her eyes can really jump out. I'm going to use my favourite Studio Finish Concealer and a nice flat synthetic brush so we can get a really smooth application. When you coat the brush with a really good amount of product, the application is so much easier and it doesn't grab the hairs. Do not be afraid of product here. We want to coat this up good. We are icing the cake. All right, let's blend. So start at the edges, be gentle, really slowly blend. You don't want to undo all your hard work. The stippling motion is super important. If you were to blend like this, you would rub it all the way. Using a really fluffy brush, I'm going to do a really light application of powder just to seal that in. So what happens around the blocked brow is just as important as what we've done on top of the brow. So I'm going to take a little bit of the colour all over the face now. You don't need to pick up a foundation. I'm going to use Studio Finish Concealer, a little bit of Fix Plus on a soft brush and we're going to blend it all over the face. Now it's important when you're adding the foundation after the brow block. As soon as you get anywhere near those brows, make your application light and turn into a stippling motion. Next up is everyone's favourite, highlighting. It's especially great when you've blocked a brow. It's going to help hide any texture and it's going to bring the whole thing together. I much prefer them to a cream in this situation because a powder is only going to seal that brow in further. And there we have it. Blocked brows with a fashion twist. Not a lot of products at all. Five, actually. A little bit of patience, many layers. Actually, pretty easy.